Exynos 1080 has an integrated 5G modem and can deliver round-breaking downlink speeds up to 5.1 Gbps at NR Sub 6 GHZ Networks 1 Operational and Integrated Neural Processing Unit NPU for On-Device Artificial Intelligence AI. The NPU has the potential to offer up to 5.7 tops trillion operations per second of performance, in Samsung words, introducing new heights of intelligence. Exynos 1080 is one of the first chassis to get ARM new Cortex-A78 CPU cores. One Cortex-A78 core at 2.8 GHz, delivering speeds that will permanently alter the face of mobile computing. Three more Cortex-A78 cores at 2.6 GHz. The four power-efficient Cortex-A55 cores operate at a maximum frequency of 2.0 GHz. The SoC supports LPDDR5 RAM and UFS 3.1 storage. The latest Mali G78 MP10 GPU for artistic graphics the Exynos 1080 is compatible with HDR10 Plus and a 144Hz screen refresh rate at full HD Plus resolution which makes for looky screen and glowing touches. This chassis is capable of supporting camera sensors up to 200 megapixel, thus providing new vistas for mobile photography with AI-powered camera features on the Exynos 1080. The new chassis can also offer HDR10 Plus video recording in 4K UHD, thus also redefining mobile videography. The Exynos 1080 is Samsung's first processor designed and produced on a 5 nanometers EUV-based FinFET process thus providing massive energy power and heat savings via low power consumption and higher efficiency, with a reduced chip size by 25% as compared to the 7 nanometers process. Samsung says that the Exynos 1080 would offer a 50% improvement in single-core performance over previous processors. Additionally, multi-core performance could see a 100% increase in performance. The Exynos 1080 is projected to debut inside a Vivo smartphone by early 2021.